Number three says that it is reported that 72% of working women use computers at work. Choose five working women at random. Find the probability that all five use a computer in their jobs. Okay, so we're looking for the probability that all five use a computer. So it says that if you pick a working woman, they're gonna have a 72% chance um, of using a computer at work. So we're doing five selections. So each one of them is gonna have a 72% chance of being a working woman who uses a computer at work. So it's just gonna be 0 0.72 times 0 0.72 times 0 0.72 times 0 0.72 times 0.72. So 0.72 for each one of the five working women. So if you want to write that more compactly, you can do that as 0.72 to the fifth power, and then just calculate that. And that comes out to 0.193, or if you want to put it as a percent, that would be 19.3%. Part B says find the probability that at least one doesn't use a computer at work. Okay, so now we want to use the rule for finding the probability of at least one thing. Okay, so we want the probability that at least one doesn't use a computer. So the rule for at least one, like using the complement rule, is going to be one minus the probability. Um, I think we wrote it as like one minus the probability of none. So basically we're just saying like one minus the probability that whatever it is that we're talking about doesn't happen or doesn't occur at all. So for our case, the probability of at least one um, that doesn't use a computer is gonna be one minus the probability that no one doesn't use a computer. Okay, so if no one doesn't use a computer, let's see if we can just make sense of that. I don't even think that's um, correct grammar there, but that's okay. Um, so the probability of no one, so if no one isn't using a computer, what does that mean? Can we kind of translate that so it makes more sense? Well, if no one isn't, or if no one is not using a computer, that means that everyone is. So it's the same thing as one minus the probability that all five are using a computer. And that's the probability that we just found in um, part A. So all five was the 0.193 number. So we just have to do one minus 0.193. And that comes out to be 0 0.807. Or if you want to put it as a percent, that'd be about 80.7%. That one's kind of tricky just because it's a little bit hard as far as the English part of it. Um, but hopefully you follow like the uh, mathematical idea there. Okay, example four or number four says the probability that a region prone to hurricanes will be hit by a hurricane in any single year is one out of five. What is the probability of a hurricane at least once in the next four years? Okay, so we want the probability that there will be at least one hurricane in the next four years. So again, since we're doing at least one, I'm gonna use the, the complement rule for at least one, and that's gonna be one minus the probability that there are no hurricanes in the next four years. Okay, so now let's think about how we calculate the probability of no hurricanes in the next four years. Well, just go year by year. So for the first year, what's the probability that there's not going to be a hurricane? Well, the probability that there is a hurricane in a single year is one out of five. So that means the probability that there won't be a hurricane in any single year uh, is four out of five. So for each one of those four years, the probability that there's not going to be a hurricane is gonna be four out of five. So we'll have one minus and then four out of five times four out of five times four out of five times four out of five. If you wanna write that in exponential notation, that'd be one minus four fifths to the fourth power. And just calculate that and you get um, approximately 0.590 or about 59%.